I want to paint a mental picture before we get into the discussion. And the mental picture is as follows. Imagine every single one of you from today, you leave this conference and you start praying not only five times a day, but all of your Sunnah prayers. You start fasting nearly every day. You fast one day, you don't fast another day. You pray tahajjud every night. You do your dhikr. You feed the poor. You spread the salam. You give your brothers gifts. You smile. You remove obstacles from the road. You engage in charity, sadaqah. You pay your zakat. You fast the month of Ramadan. You do everything possible. You strive in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You get involved in the da'wah, you become a da'i, you call people to Allah, call to the way of your Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You facilitate the mercy and the guidance of thousands. You have 2,000 shahadas. You get married again, you have two wives. You have four wives, alhamdulillah. You have 20 children. Every single one of those children are women. They're girls and you bring them up, you educate them and they're righteous. You adopt orphans, you feed them. SubhanAllah, you are a wonder Muslim. You take over the world, you become Khalifa. And then you go on the day of judgment and Allah throws you to hell. <laughs> You're in Jahannam, burning forever, Ikhwan and Akhawat, even though you did all of these good deeds. So although you did all of these good deeds, you're going to hell. Why? It's because we do not do these deeds solely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you don't have ikhlas, sincerity in what you are saying, in your belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the truth, truth of Islam, then you don't have Islam. This is one of the conditions of the Shahada, which is Ikhlas.